Anyone remember these things? So last time I dug into an upgrade box, I opened like six of them in one video and I didn't really get the chance to like really dedicate myself to one specific box and a few of you suggested that I maybe do a more dedicated video to one box. Clearly I agreed with that concept because we're going to be going through the September upgrade box. These are shipped from Germany. It doesn't have the quickest turnaround time to the US so I would keep that in mind if you are interested in an upgrade subscription. Let's dig in and uh, see what we'll be working with today. Hello. Definitely got the art supplies in it. Ooh, markers! So these are the brand Spectrum AD. They're double-ended and alcohol-based. So you get six markers, and I'm guessing they curated the colors. It looks like they're brush on one side and chisel on the other. And the colors we got, yellow ochre, pink beige, straw yellow, spring green, aqua blue, and Columbia blue. I'm really enjoying this vibe. Makes me think of like sunny skies with a little grass. You could also draw a character with these for sure. Do some character design. There's your chisel end. And then the brush on the other side. Right off the bat, these feel lighter than I feel like I'm used to. For a lighter pen than an Ohu. We'll see how juicy they are. Look, rainbow. Actually, wait, it would be rainbow. So in the box, there's three pencils. These are the Brunzeal colored pencils. We have one in a red, one in like a poopy nude, <laughs> and a navy sort of blue. We also have a, this looks like an acrylic paint pen, I'm going to guess. It says it's pigmented opaque ink. Ooh, I kind of like that nib. Poscas usually have kind of round nibs, but this is like a pointy nib. I've never seen this one before. We'll give it a little prep work. Nice. Ooh, we can draw in yellow. Hello. I find that acrylic paint pens are best for doing more liney stuff. If you're trying to fill in a big area, you can get kind of frustrated or start ripping up the paper even. Anyway, I just find it nice that it's a nice fine point and you can go over things very easily. And then finally, there's one more art supply in here. It's also by Marvy. It's a 0.3 waterproof pigment ink, photo safe, acid free, non-toxic, light, fast, and archival in quality. So I'm guessing it's a fine liner. So it's in the size 0.3, which is a little finer than I would usually go for, but I'm sure we can make do. Wow, this is like all things I would definitely reach for. So I'm really excited about this box. It's obviously not gonna be crazy different. It's quite up my comfort zone. This is making me really happy. Maybe because it's cloudy today. I just need a little sunshine. We also have the art print for this month. Ooh, and then more about the artist on the back. I really like that art style. I really like the way the colors are flat per character. It kind of makes them stand out in a really fun way. And I like how it simplifies a complicated illustration. <laughs> Oh, we also have paper. Yes, made specifically, or specially, excuse me, for Upcrate. Best for pencils, pens, ink, and markers, which happens to be everything that came in this box. And it's very smooth and white. Ooh, that's got some thickness to it. Something about this book makes me feel like school. I don't know what it is. Is it the smell? Oh, wait, it might be the smell. That does smell like brand new school books. <laughs> But there are 15 sheets and they are 185 GSM. Beautiful. There's also every month who comes with a booklet called the, looks like it says bottle post, but I believe it's called the battle post. It's like little articles is kind of fun. There's tips. There's link to an instructional video creating this art piece specifically. And yes, I graffitied it. I am not the art institute. I have branding to uphold. Count that as weirdest things I've done today. I drew underwear on a bunch of pink ladies, but I really like like these just like the inspiration you could get going through here this is like different things you can do with this specific color scheme like i love the detail that they put into these booklets just because they are so well catered to what you get in the box so if you run out of ideas there's obviously something you can figure it out oh it is the bottle post hmm. so it's called the bottle post I'm a fan. I love little booklets. I've talked about this before. It reminds me of when I was a kid and each video game would come with a booklet and you'd sit there when you weren't allowed to play yet because you're waiting for your turn and you'd just sit there and just devour the whole thing. Makes me really happy. Anyway, now it is time to like put everything together and see what we can make. So the next question is what are we gonna draw? Do we want to try and do something a bit 
into this vibe. I'm really excited about layering these pencils on top of the markers because that's something I always say I want to do and then I never do it. But it would be really cool if we could do some kind of gradient of marker to pencil. Which why don't I just kind of demonstrate what I mean by that. I forgot to mention it also came with a sticker sheet all created by the artist as well. Just forgot to mention it. Anyway, back to my idea. I just want to start with like a circle. I'm also gonna try it in the dark blue. We haven't swatched anything, so I might as well swatch them all. Yeah, they do feel really, I don't know if it's just because they're light. My brain's saying it's a dry marker because I usually can tell when I pick up a Copic if it's not the right weight so that it's probably empty. Okay, so there's our colors. We also have this fine liner. Beige. You can kind of see how these colors match up with these. They seem slightly off. I don't know if that was the scanner or some color correction. But what I was thinking is if you like add a gradient to a marker, so I don't know, maybe use this as like a line art around whatever you're drawing, and then you can have a slight gradient and blend it out that way with a pencil. So now it goes from lighter to darker. You can also try it on this guy. Ooh, that looks nice too. Those both look good. We have a green. You can try on the green colors. So it's like you can have line art that kind of coincides with the color. Oh, this one works really well too. Why don't we try the red on the pink? Might be a little too different. But yeah, that's kind of like my vibe where it's like if you had an element and you wanted a gradient, you could do a really good job with that. I just love how the marker fills the space really well and then the pencil adds texture. Like that makes me really happy. Let's see how well this goes on top of everything. Oh yeah, you gotta love it. Ooh makes me so happy when an acrylic paint pen works yeah this is a well curated box this makes me very very happy i mean colored pencils are probably one of my least favorite art supply but layered on top of marker is something that i am excited about trying so i'm in a good mood i would like to try this style where like each element's a different color there's no pencil for sketching i don't mind that a bit of a pet peeve of mine is when every art box if you get the subscription then every box has a sharpener and like an hb pencil and you're like mm, yeah i know we use these but we don't use them that fast you know what i'm saying so i don't mind that that's not there i can make do. I'm probably going to want to use my Colorace colored pencil anyway. I am very inspired by the character arts with lots of like girls. Maybe try to incorporate different elements that I kind of see. We got like fish, we got snakes, we got fox. A lot of things to play around with here. I like the like floatiness. Let's try and do that. Floaty, floaty. I'm going to change up the head a little bit. I'm going to want a little more action. Got Mount Fuji. I ended up cutting into it to make it more mountain shaped. I got impatient. I just wanted it to be a mountain. Little head. Now this artist draws characters with very, very long hair. So I feel like we should try that. I don't tend to draw that long. So it might be fun to try and include it in the composition. Or just keep it kind of flat. I'm not sure. I only just started. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Mm, it's kind of going around. So far, very basic. We got floaty elements. We want to include an animal. They also have some stickers here of like fun plants, which I've been practicing for my October drawing challenge. So I did probably could very easily include those. <laughs> what about clothing? Oh, some cool like robes, I would call them. Ooh, we could take a strand of hair and go over. I kind of want to try this thing where it's like flat colors, which means we need more intersecting elements. Although maybe we'll go more this vibe. Might as well just try something. Let's throw on some colors. Kind of go with the pink skin. And there's like a bluish hair. And I also need to give her an outfit, which I have not done yet. Let's just throw on some quick clothes. Maybe something athletic since she's flowy. <laughs> maybe a little number on here. <laughs> I don't know. Now I know why this artist doesn't put clothes on their characters. Kind of add in our base layer of this. And then next we'll add in the pencil. Make sure we're doing quick so it doesn't look too textury. We want a nice flat color is what we're going for. There's already a slight color change because of the pencil that I used to sketch, but we're gonna make it much more obvious. Yeah, love it. Oh, doesn't that look cool? That pink's starting a lot more looks more orangey tan when it's next to the red. I don't quite know my color theory well enough to explain why that is, but I think it has to do with their relationship to each other and I'm sure the color wheel and all that jazz. If I was more worried about the sketch, I could have erased it first, but I didn't. I tend to like having some nice texture in a fun sketchy way. And sketching is like my favorite part. So I love being able to see that at the end. All right, that's all the skin. I feel like this would work well for the flowers too. So I'm gonna color in those. Let's go ahead and add the lines with this pencil. 
I wonder if I should shave this whole leg. Well, I did. <laughs> I feel like it definitely separates the two legs a little better. Oh shoot, I meant to use blue on all the line art, so it'd be more like this thing. Well, that didn't happen. Maybe next time. Don't know what to do about eyelashes yet. Or eyebrows. We're gonna color in the hair with this, I guess. I guess so, here it goes. Woo! I think we're gonna use some pencil to separate those because it's all the same color. Definitely put that in the lips. I want some blush. Do that on the elbows or not? And the knees. Maybe I'll try fine liner for the eyelashes. But then I'll use the pencil for like the eyelid. Definition to the eyebrows. Little shading. Little lines around this little piece of hair here. Maybe here too. So that's the hair done. We have a few colors left. I think in my mind I saw the outfit as white, but we have colors, we gotta use them. Start with the background elements and see how that serves us. And then that yellow, maybe the pants. Oh, it's kind of lemony, I like that. And then either the yellow ochre for the top or the green. Let's just go with the yellow ochre because there's not really a lot of that anywhere. And then we can see it in action. Cute, I love the lemon vibe. Something about the blue makes the yellow really pop. It makes me think of lemons, which makes no sense because it would be green. Whatever, I'm just speaking straight out of my brain. It doesn't always make sense. Let's use this for the numbers. Ooh yeah, that was a good choice. Good choice. Do I want to put a number on her chest too? Let's start with this if we do. Let's make it a matching set. Let that dry and then we can fix where I went over. But yes, this makes me very happy. Definitely have more space. Did we use every marker? Technically, yes. They're just not all as obvious as others. I'd also want to try this vibe where like there's elements overlapping each other. So I want to try that. We're going to start with this guy again. So maybe a character. Should they have room to stand somewhere? So this time we're going to put them flat on the ground. Maybe this hand. On a dog. Why not? We'll draw on dogs. Legs need to be a little longer. Eh, eh, I don't remember how to draw a dog. I don't do a beanie. It's very Pokemon style. <laughs> I want there to be kind of a lot of detail in the character so that the flat color kind of stands out. Actually, not the flat color will recede and then the, the detail or the elements of it will stand out more. Straight legged pants, maybe a knee hole. Everything's gonna be the same color, so this is the time to add as much as I want. Coloring is going to be quick. We need more things though, we need more things. We gotta do like the worms. I guess they're snakes. Actually, that should probably be the last thing I add so that it fits the composition. Put a doggy in there. Shoes, need some more things to overlap. Flowers maybe. These fun shapes. Maybe we'll keep the snake the same way I had it before. Have it a little bit more soft. Okay, the dog needs a little uh, second sketch layer. Do I want a specific dog breed or do I just want whatever happens? I want to draw it years ago up, but now I have no idea what <laughs> dog breed this is. Maybe I want angry eyebrows and a smile and give it a less poofy tail. I don't know. It's a mutt. It's a mutt. The only thing left that's given me pause is this foot. Maybe we can kind of change the angle of that just a little bit. Does that make more sense? I think that does make more sense. But still, where does this foot go? Do we want to put any kind of design on the shirt? Maybe a dog. Here we go. And we're taking inspo from all these different things. So they did like a yellow for a person or pink for a person. I like this combo of the yellow person and the orange dog because it's like they go together. Oh, I also like how there's a bird. Ooh, should we put a bird on our character's shoulder? Why not? Doesn't have to be super detailed. Wow, I didn't like to draw a bird, but that looks like a bird to me. And that could be its own color too. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, I was determining colors. We could do green snake, yellow person, orange dog pink bird and that just leaves our blues available but this seems like a really nice color scheme to me and if we don't end up with blue i don't think i will suffer too much let's just see what happens i think i determined i wanted orange dog yellow person though so 
let's just go ahead and color all of the person yellow oh i did want to i don't want as much sketch going on because it's more supposed to be simple and line arty but let me actually find my needed eraser and we'll roll over this just to lighten it a bit not too much because i do need to be able to see where defined parts are it should be fine okay so yellow for our character and that's everything that the character is involved with and then we're gonna use line art on all the sketch Ooh, i feel like i'm doing digital art and trying to create a clipping mask <laughs> Oh, I'm already like really excited to see what happens. I think I said orange dog. My orange seems very blue. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay, I do know how I feel about that. I'm not happy about it. Ooh, my little tail. Oh, what was next? Green snake, I think. Or do we want to do pink snake? So that things are more incorporated. Why don't we make just the plants green and the snake can be pink? Let's do that. We could do yellow flowers. Why don't we try that? And we'll blend the green into that a little bit. That kind of works. All right, so then that leaves us with a pink snake. We're gonna use that pink beige color. So now this is going to have line art, but since we have two sections overlapping each other, we're gonna use the red and create some depth. I'm gonna do the same thing with this leg of the doggy. Everything else should probably be line art. Oh, shoot, that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, we're trying to do line art instead. We do need to, I think the, the birdie's gonna be green. Orange up here. Just make sure everything's colored in. That needs to be it's coming together. I kind of wish there was more orange here somewhere. Maybe a big circle. There you go. Just sketching a snake. One second. I think that's it. And since this is so fine, I should be able to get a decent amount of detail in here. I don't know how much noise I'll be making while I'm doing this. It takes a lot of concentration and every part feels so important. Maybe this bird next. T-shirt. Then they have this belt thing. It's kind of interesting where everything's the same color because it's like kind of doesn't matter very much. And I don't know if I should like add variation in the line with too much. I haven't decided on that. My pant with a little roll up. Maybe put the doggy in the shirt. All right. Thinking about giving the shirt underneath kind of stripes. Nope, oh, we're doing it. So far I'm a little underwhelmed. The closer it gets to being done, the finality of line art never makes things better. <laughs> All right, so that's it. We can definitely add some more pencil. Like anywhere that like something goes underneath might be fun. Or if we want any kind of texture anywhere. Now that we have line art, like we can definitely go darker. Add some more shading. Oh, we can do a little blush with this, maybe. It is cool. I definitely like it. I'm really glad I did it. But now that I have, I know I much prefer the... It's almost more natural. Like, next to each other, you see, like, this has more contrast because the line art pops. But at the same time, this is so much softer. That's the word. Softer. So I really, really like that. I'm probably thinking way too much about this, but I like this one better. Oh, let's see. Did the paper bleed? Kind of doesn't look like it did. It'd be hard to tell if it got on here, but I'm pretty sure it didn't because there'd be like a dark patch. This is some nice paper, I guess. I kind of just want to draw a little something, just like a portrait or something. I kind of just want to use the pencil to do blush on the cheeks. I haven't focused on a face in a while. I don't know how I want to stylize it yet. Maybe big eyes, little button nose, and some lips. Maybe big ears. I do like drawing big ears. This is the neck. It's very thin. It's probably easily broken. A little bit of the back of the head. And it'll be blush and blush. This space is really open, so we could definitely do a short bob. We could do the bird again. That bird made me really happy. It's probably my favorite part. But this is where we have space for it. So maybe here. Oh, but now there's no room for its little feathers. Nope. Nope. It's throwing off the composition. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Eyeball. Torso. Wing. And hair. Let's have the hair all over to the side because she doesn't want the bird in her hair. Maybe we'll change the part that way too. So now we've got a lot happening over here. We might want to like move the hair to a side part and have all the hair kind of coming around the edge here. Maybe make it make a little more sense. You can't really see the top of the shoulder now so the bird just looks like it's sitting on the collarbone. But it'll be fine. No, not a problem. Square neckline. The head is huge, I just realized. All right, shoulders need to be coming out a little farther. I think that's more logical. The head is still massive. What? I'm gonna have to double the size. Look, maybe the shoulders are out here. Now the neck looks small. 
I mean, I guess that was the original problem. Let's just, I want a color. I really liked coloring of this actually. We'll do the same color scheme as that. It was light blue for the hair, pink beige for the skin. It's also one of the lighter colors, so you can go over it with something else if you really have to. Oh, see, filling in a large area. This is where we're gonna see how patchy these markers can be. Ooh, yuck. And also just kind of do a light wash over top of everything. Ooh, I went too far into the eye. No! I'm going to probably end up using the white paint pen to fix that. But I'm going to wait till the very end in case we put marker over top and stuff. Probably just for the best because it can kind of ruin a marker if you have to go over the spot like a lot. Ooh, patchy, patchy. It's gross. Okay, then we got blue for the hair. Ooh, this one seems like the driest. It's also the largest area I've tried to fill. Can you see a certain patchiness? I think it's because it's losing its ink. Probably do blue eyes, but we gotta let that dry. <laughs> Not dry. Moisten the opposite. Kinda wanna go over the face with all this. Try and create that soft look. This might be almost time. Fix the eyeball. Wow, it's very opaque. I like it, I like it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna maybe use this line art for yet, but until then, we'll just use this. Orange blue for this stuff. Little shadow. Want some blue eyes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and color these in with the darker blue. And it's like basically the exact same color as the pencil. And the bird's going to be... Ooh, we could do a gradient. I'm gonna do that. I have yellow at the bottom. And green at the head. I'm blend that up. If these were juicier, the blending might be better. But let's see what happens. Hmm, I don't really like it. Maybe just cover in the wing. Back to the pencil, the pencil. We've got some shadings in here. The green for the bird. We don't actually have a green, so I might use the blue because I don't actually like the color that that looks. Ta-da! Gonna add a little clothing color. Probably that about it. <laughs> Let's try a pupil with the pencil first. Oh crap, that's creepy. Maybe this will save us. Still creepy? So long, creepy! Let's take the light blue and see. It's probably going to lift the pencil and blend it outward so it's gonna look way darker. So we don't even need to use the dark blue. Let's blend out the pencil. Yeah, the lopsided eyebrows with the dead eyes. <laughs> we lift this eye up. Maybe use this. Open this eye this way. A little uh, highlight to the cheeks and the nose. Blue pencil. Just change this eyebrow. Ooh, we can even add like strands of hair. <gasps> Ooh, my favorite. Look at that. Look at it. And also, I think I'll take the blue. Add some eyelashes. All right. I think that does it for me today. I'm starting to get a little uh, clumsy. I don't know. But I had a lot of fun with this box. These aren't my favorite mark alcohol-based markers now that I've tried them. But I did create some really cute things. Maybe. The colors look great on this. I like the way that pops. Okay, let me stop touching it. I will have information to upgrade linked in the description below if you're interested. I really like the way they curate their boxes and the attention of detail they put even like to this like to the booklet. It's very, very nice and I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening. Fun waffles. Bye.